Well, hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, another commercial machine. I'll just put this gas cap back on and we'll start from scratch. That's all I looked at. So, one of the, I've got two of these steel trimmers. This is an FS56 and the other one is, I think, the same. SF56 RC. Now he tells me that the trigger doesn't work anymore. This thing's filthy though. So what we're going to do first, because I don't like dirty machines, I'm just going to give it a little wipe down. And I got this bad boy for parts. He says it doesn't have the uh, extension anymore. Well, we'll wait and see how that turns out. So now, let's just do a slight, slight little bit of wiping down here. Boy, these have, these have been, these have got hours, <laughs> look at that, they've got hard hours on them. Hey, let's get stoned, eh? Three quarter inch crush. Wouldn't that be a, a good name for a, a drink? What are you drinking? Uh, like I'm drinking a three quarter inch crush, eh? Alrighty. So anybody who's working on steel, ooh, <laughs> anybody who's working on steel equipment, you gotta have a T27 of some sort or a couple. We're doing three or four things at once here. I wonder if that's not running because the air filter is so dirty. Is that even a possibility? It is a possibility. I'm going to leave that air filter on. I'm going to take it outside and blast it with air just to kick that ugly, ugly poop and dirt out of there. Right? You guys can see in there. There we go. Look at the schmoo in there, eh? Alright, we're back. Let's get that uh, air filter out of there. Do you think that's going to be my problem? Wouldn't that be sweet? Let's just see where it is. This is the high. Three quarters of a turn, that's really good. And low. Uh, almost three quarters of a turn. Okay, let's see what happens here now. Let's put this ugly spark plug boot back on. And see if she's got any life in her at all. There. Oh, well that's part of the problem. <laughs> yep. Is that missing a freaking thing? <laughs> Good. There. So we're missing a screw on the rewind. Furnace alert. We got snow last night. I know. Hi guys. Bruce here. Alright. So there we are. I oh, did you see that? <laughs> Alright. So now we gotta do this again. I have a I have this copy here. And it works. Okay, so we take this like this. We want, it's going to go in like that. We want these on the outside. 
I'm going to just turn this exactly around and do it again the same way. Um, now, let's have a little look there. They're kind of tricky. Oh, no, that's the other way, so it's got to go this way. So when you're putting these on, these are the claps, clamps for the rewind. This edge goes to there, right? And then this spring winds over to there, and you just insert it into that round hole. Hmm. There. They're a little more wigglier than these ones. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So now we're just, this is filthy. I guess I should wash, let's just see if we can get this on here. If I can get it on, I'll take it off and wash it. Broke. What broke? A little round of goobers. What came off? All right. I am going to just change out this. This is a. This is this one here is wasted. It's it's a it's a donor carcass. And I'm going to see if I can just replace that plate. I'm not mucking around today. I'm getting things done. Yep, that's going to come off. I know it's a 14 mil on a rattle gun. If I can get that off there, we may have to push a screwdriver down into the hole. No, nope, not that one. Maybe one of these Robertsons just to hold it down. Beautiful. worn out, eh? Oh, I see why. Now, we got the we got the answer to that question. I'll show you in just one second. We'll get this one off if we can. Rats. That's okay. It's my piston stop. One fell out. Now you'll see that that one only has one nub that goes in the round hole on here. That round hole there. Well, this one has two. You see that? There's a single one on there, and that's a double one. So we're just going to make some spare parts here and we're going to just attach this bad boy onto here the nut stays on the flange So I'm just going to hold that piston down and give this a tightener ripper. Good. Okay, now I want to see if I get a spark. I'm just going to bolt this in with one bolt because that's all I got. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I've only got two of these right here. That's all that came with it. So let's get a T27 and a screwdriver and attach this rewind 
in the most important place. Good. I'm missing, um, but this is the wrong type. What I need is the threaded type. Hmm. I'm just going to take that one, other, that one out of there again. That's why I have more than one of these. Did you see that? Are the threads the same on that? Yes, they are. So really, I only need one more of those. I'm going to turn you off and see if I can find one in my hoard. This will work as one of those. The, the threads are the same. See that? They're a thread into metal, not a thread into plastic. Okay, I got the one steel bolt with a little washer to make it look like that other wider one. We'll put that in the third hole. And yes, I need a uh, T27 screwdriver, don't I? That's going to work. Let's just see if we can tighten this one now. Good. Alright, now we're going to just clean up a little bit. I've got this bolted down. I don't know if we have a spark yet. Good, that releases. Uh, let's see if we can set up a, a Bruce kind of a setup here. Oh, there's the reason! Yay! Come, oh yeah, come back to me now. You guys saw the broken boot? It just pulled right off the plug. Right off of that wire there. <coughs> so now, I am going to put a new boot on there. But first I'm going to make sure she fires. Okay? We'll squish that with a pair of needle nose. So believe it or not folks, that's all there is, one moment, don't get dizzy, that's all there is to the boot and the spark plug connector. It just plugs into the wire like that, eh? Right? Like that. Isn't that weird? So she should fire. Let's see what we got. We've still got our rig spark plug here. get that? I tried to adjust it and it's not adjusting. I'm hoping it's a dirty carburetor. So now we can, uh, we're getting into the zone now, baby. That looks fine. Okay. And I never, you know what, on this one I never did check the fuel either. I think the 
fuel doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to have a quick look at it. Don't spill it now, Brewster. No, that's fine. It could use a filter job, but that's all right. We'll leave it out there for now. And I'll forget that it's out of fuel, right? Well, I'll be jiggered. We're going to back up a step, guys. And we'll put this guy in there. I'm just going to have a look and see what kind of plastic is left in that hole. Oh, that'll be lots. Better than nothing. So that was sitting there all night. Have we got one in each one of those now? Yes, sir, Bob. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to make sure the uh, muffler's not plugged, and we're going to uh, get a new boot on there. Okay, now we're going to take the muffler off. But I got to check something on the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to take the muffler off. A little hot, eh? I just was running the machine, right? Do you think this muffler's plugged? <laughs> no way, baby! I bet you it is. Are you guys still watching? Yes, you are. Parts are up here. Needle schnauzer. Yep, it's plugged. I don't know if the whole muffler's plugged. It feels like it. It feels really heavy. Huh. You know what? It could well be plugged. I have another muffler. Um, the donor. Try this one. Can you see down at the bottom of my hands there? Just barely, hey? I have to be more cognizant of the camera. It's plugged too. All right, which one do I use? This one seems a little better. I'm going to clean this screen with a torch. It's hot. Don't touch with hand. Okay, I'm going to burn the other side too. Now, which one do I use? You watching this? Sure. Are you with me? Oh, 
Okay. Let's just see if this makes our, our day. Because I found these, if you get the right mixture of gas, I find these steels very, very reliable. So let's just pop that back on like that. Good. Okay. Now, I think it's going to rip. So let's take our donor, donor dude, put them there, and hook up our spark plug again because we still have to do that. Good. Now we need a little bit of fuel. I'll fix that other muffler after. If any of you small engine guys haven't done this, you're lying. It's covering the filter. It's covering the filter. That's all we need. Good. Cap back on. We should be able to go. Ooh. No, that's fine. Oh, we have to put our cover on, uh, our rewind cover. But before we do that, should we... No, I can do that without. I'm going to clean this now. <laughs> After working so hard, Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to clean that cover. I know what you're thinking, punk. Did I fire six shots or only five? Well, I'm going to start this up, and then the last repair is that spark plug hole, if it was a plugged muffler. We'll find out shortly. turn, eh? And the low three quarters of a turn. That's about right, eh? Let's do it again. It's fun. Hey, did you guys get that? Wasn't that exciting? The screws were within a quarter turn of where they were supposed to be. Now, the air filter. How bad is it? And this cover. And the screw, and that's it, baby. Hey, Adrian. Pretty happy. Let's get this washing tub out. Put that in there. Gas on it. I know I shouldn't be using gas to clean parts. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute here. And I might as well just take this with me. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Alright my friends. Here we are. I'm putting a new boot on here. 
There's ten ways of doing this. I'm trying to pull, put the boot on first if I can. Oh, so close, baby. So when I finish fiddling with this, I'll come back. You don't want to watch me doing this all damn day. Different wire poker on her finger. Is that going to work? Perfect. Now I'm just going to put it back. Oh, all I got to do is put this cover on. Just put the cover on, baby. And yes, I got to get some more T27s, eh? Okay, let's do a real world deal here. If you got enough battery left in you, well then. We'll release the hounds. Okay. I'm not going to... 